Hey there, good morning, how are you? It's Charles. Check out my gift, or my thing I bought. Don't we look alike? I look like, who is this guy, anybody know? Slobodan Milosevic, he was the, uh, the president of uh, Yugoslavia, and uh, he was sent to The Hague like uh, every Serb, so I might go to The Hague for having it if the CIA sees it. Uh, anyway, I got another question. I've been getting tons of video uh, emails from people asking questions about Serbia, so let me get on this here. I've got a young lady from New York City. Here's what she says. Greetings, Charles. I hope this message finds you well. I have a few questions for you since you've taught in foreign countries, and this would be my first time seeking employment outside the USA. I am now finishing up my TESOL certification course, and I have a BA in English Lit. I'm planning, I plan on going to Serbia, particularly Kragujevac, to teach English. One of my worries is not being able to find a job over there. How are you able to? Do I contact private schools? Would working in public school be better? How is the pay? Upon arrival, is it hard to find a place to live? Or is that something one does before leaving? How much should I consider saving before leaving? I'm sorry I've ambushed you with questions, but there are hardly others out there who aspire to teach in Serbia. Almost everyone wants to go to Asia. I've chosen Serbia because I have a close friend there, and it seems like such a beautiful place. Lastly, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to answer this, but I'll give it a shot. I was born in the Dominican Republic and have a Dominican passport. I'm a resident of the USA. Do you think I'll have to acquire a visa to enter Serbia, or should I just go? Thank you in advance. I love your videos, and I hope you, do, you keep doing what you love. Sincerely, Patricia. What a sweetheart. Thank you, Patricia. Hey, Charles, I don't mind if I get a video response. I'm happy to get a response. I do not mind if you use my name. I would like to clarify that I grew up in New York City. I speak English fluently, but I've never became a citizen. I was just wondering if a lack of citizenship uh, would be a deterrent in getting a job as an English teacher. I met my friend in Kragujevac on a forum. I want to visit him to see if I like the country before I decide to whether or not to live there. I definitely know I want to leave the United States. That's why I'm wondering if I could make a living teaching English and live comfortably. Thank you. Okay, Patricia, let me go here. I've got my T-E-S-O-L also. I, I took mine through I-T-T-T, and I've taught in uh, Mexico and here with it, and really, really good course. Um, first question, how was I able to, to get a job at a private school? Well, I'll tell you, when I went to Zrenjanin, I was just walking through Zrenjanin one day, and I saw a little place, uh, an English school. I walked in, spoke to the owner, and she hired me like that, you know. Uh, she didn't ask a lot about my requirements. They just were looking for somebody, a native speaker. I got that job, and there was two other schools I spoke to. Uh, they heard about me, and they offered me a job. Uh, so I was working at three different private schools, and I was um, volunteering at eight public schools. And uh, so that was it. It was pretty easy to find, you know. And, and Kragujevac is a little bit bigger than Zrenin, and Zrenin has got about 80,000 people, maybe. Kragujevac got over 100,000. And there'll be a lot of private schools, a lot of kids. So I think you'll you'll do okay. Uh, do I contact private schools? Yeah, I'll, t I'll try to uh, find some links for you. And I'll put them on here. And I'll ask some of my friends. I got a ton of friends in Kragujevac. And I'll ask them some of the links for some of the schools. So maybe you can contact them before you go. Okay, so give me about a week or so. Uh, would working in a public school be better? It, I don't think you can. As a, as a foreigner, uh, you have to be a Ser Serbian citizen to work in a public school here. Uh, that's what they told me in Zrenje. Um How is the pay? The pay at a, at a private school, it depends on the city. You're in Kragujevac, I really don't know for, for sure. I have a friend here, he teaches every day at a, in Belgrade, and he makes 500 euros a month, which isn't wonderful. In Belgrade, it's not a whole lot of money. He's a young guy, so it's a pretty good salary for him. He lives with his mother and father and everything. But uh, in Zrenjanin, for one class, for a 45-minute class, I made 700 diners. That's about like $8.50 a class. Um, and here in Poncho, it's about 1,000 diners a class. That's about 10 euros. So down there, it's probably the same. Between $8 an hour and $10 a, 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 for a 45-minute class is probably what it is. So it could be a little bit more, a little bit less than that, but that's about what you're looking at. Um, ma, 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 ma. Upon arrival, is it hard to find a place to live? Uh, should I do that before I leave? There's a lot of online um, places you can look for apartments, but a lot of times they're a lot more expensive. He, a great thing about Serbia is uh, everywhere I've stayed, there's been no lease. 
you know, it, you can find places all over the place. You just go in. This place here was 100 euros. I met the guy, I give him 100 euros, he gives me the key. That's it, you know. And there's a lot of places that are furnished, uh, like bed, TV, everything you need. Um, and you don't really need it. In Kragujevac, you're probably looking, you could probably find a beautiful place for about 200 euros total with your bills and everything included. If it's spring and summer, uh, for about 200 euros, you could probably find a beautiful, beautiful place that'd be about 200 and some bucks, a, you know, a month. You could probably find a really cheap one too, you know, for about 100 euros a month. Uh, you could find, I'm sure in Kragujevac, maybe not in the center, a little outside, you know, and. So it's pretty easy to find. I can ask some of my friends in um, Kragujevac, I got tons of them, like I said, and they can help you locate some and find some pictures and, and some prices for you. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. They've got a paper in a lot of cities called H-A-L-O, Halo, and it'll have like a lot of apartments. An apartment in Serbian is Stan or Gasianera is like another word for that. And I think that's a studio apartment. So it depends on how big you want. Um, location, of course, just like it is in New York, you know. But uh, you know, here you can find something beautiful, beautiful, beautiful for $150, $200 a month. Do, 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 do. How much should I consider saving before I leave? Well, you know, in Kragujevac, I bet the, the average salary there is probably about 400 euros a month because it's in central Serbia. And uh, so about 400 euros a month is what people live on. Here, I spend about 500 euros, $600 a month. And in, in smaller communities, that are similar in size to Kragujevac, Nish, and Suboti, uh, Zrenjanin, and, and here in Panchevo, you can live on that pretty well, you know. So I would say if you had $1,000 a month uh, saved, you can live here beautifully for $1,000 a month, you know. So even a little less than that. You could get by probably, if you're on a budget, a strict budget, you could come here if you, you can only stay three months uh, on a regular visa that you're going to get when you walk in. They're going to stamp it and you get three months. And if you had about $600 a month to spend, $1,800, you could stay for three months and live nicely. You know, if you had a small, cheaper apartment and you like to cook, you know, things like that. Like food, food here. Let me show you. If you're on a really strict budget this is six eggs uh, these things this is 90 99 diners or a dollar a little over a dollar uh, so you could eat eggs you can get like a plieskovitsa at lunch it's about 150 diners and you could have a burek at night and that's about so in a day about 500 diners uh, it's like five bucks you could eat all three meals if you want to do a little bit nicer, you could spend about $10 a day and have a nice one. You could eat these for a dollar in the morning and then have like a, for 500 diners, you can have a nice meal somewhere, nice beans, salad and everything. Uh, so, you know, it depends all on you, you know, how much. I like to go out a lot. I like to drink beer. I like to go out with my friends. I like to eat out. I don't know how to cook very much. And so, uh, you know, $1,800, $1,000 a month, ideally, you, you'll live like a superstar. What else? Lastly, I'm not so sure about being Dominican Republic. I looked it up for you. I couldn't find an embassy location here in in Belgrade. But what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put, I've got a uh, contact, a very nice guy at the Serbian consulate in Washington, D.C. In the description, I'm going to put his email address in there. And so you can just shoot him an email and say, hey, you're from the Dominican Republic. You want to come here? Do you need a visa? And he'll tell you like that if you do or if you don't. I don't think you probably do. And if you do, you can get it when you get to the airport. And your last question. A lack of citizenship, will that be a deterrent in getting a job? No, they're not going to care. Uh, just depends on your fluency in the language. And like you said, you, you've got your English uh You've got your bachelor's in, in English lit, and you said you're a, a, almost a native speaker. So uh, I don't think you'll have any problems. They're not going to really care. So as long as you're able to do it. Another lady, a little tip for you. Um, I've had a, a lady from Australia that was here. She told me a great way to make money in Serbia. She said she would, uh, you'll notice when you, when you go up to like telephone poles and posts and stuff here and bus stops, everybody posts up a piece of paper with like selling cars, houses, whatever. And she put them up there like native, uh, that she was given private lessons. And, uh, you know, she said she had so much business, she couldn't even take it all. 
you know, the kids here will blow you away with their intelligence though, you know, so be prepared for that. I, I came to Serbia with my thing and I thought, oh man, you know, these kids aren't gonna know anything. Walk into this place, little 10, 11 year olds, they know their grammar, man. You know, they start studying English now in, in preschool. A lot of these kids are learning English. So, you know, one, one little kid asked me one time, like, he said, teacher, explain past perfect or past continuous. And I was like, <laughs> uh, you know, they'll catch you by surprise, man. They're, they're smart people. So, uh, but they're good kids. Uh, and I don't know, that's about it. So if you have any detailed questions, I got tons of friends in Kragi about it. It's a beautiful city. I've been there a number of times and I'm going back really soon. And uh, so if you need anything, it used to be the capital of Serbia and uh, great place. So need anything else, just holler. Thank you. Do Virginia. Have a good trip.